Hey, what's going on everyone? Mike here, Mike's House of Mods. I hope you're having a great day and welcome to my channel. Hey, you know, there's an old saying, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And unfortunately, I got that it's a matter of when. Uh, just the other day, uh, it showed up in a check engine light with a code of P0014. And it actually has to do with the uh, camshaft, the actuators and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, just for good measure, it also threw in a um, random misfire uh, going on as well. So um, obviously I'm going to have to go and change those position, uh, ac camshaft position actuators, which is luckily a pretty easy job to do. Uh, and hopefully it's going to clear up on any of that code and also that random misfiring as well. So uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to do it and show you how easy it is to do. All right, I don't know about other engines, but at least on the Ecotec, uh, mine's a 2.4. I'm pretty sure the 2.0 is the same. But those actuators are right up here. There's two of them. One that actually says is for the exhaust and one is for the intake. And it's just a matter of taking these clips off. Uh, there's a couple of uh, bolts in here. Unscrew those bad boys, pull these out, put the new ones in, re-bolt it up, re uh, put the, uh, uh, the electrical clips back on and uh, it's pretty much good to go. So um, a couple things I want to do before I get started, or at least one thing I want to do is uh, a lot of times you're going to have a bunch of dirt and debris and stuff like that kind of sitting here. Uh, when these things get pulled out, they actually go down into the engine. So you want to kind of blow away some of the, any kind of dirt or something that might be in there. So it doesn't actually accident, accidentally fall down into the uh, into your engine because that's going to cause you even more problems. So let me get my tools and uh, we'll get this thing started. All right, to take the electrical connections off, all you have to do is there's a little tab that's right here. You're going to push this in. This gray piece comes off and we'll set that aside and then we should just be able to uh, unplug it and I'm basically just going to do one at a time because they even though they look the same these are actually two different things once like I said for the, uh, the exhaust and one is for the intake so you don't want to get them mixed up so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to change the one completely and then we'll go ahead and uh, and do the other one so uh, like I said you basically just kind of push this little tab this gray piece should come up and it's kind of hard for me to do with one hand here so I might have to put the camera down to uh, do the other to do it right. Let's see here. Two seconds later. All right, and there it is. Hopefully, that was the hardest part of this job. So you do that, and then you just kind of push on this little tab here, and pull it off, and we are disconnected. So I'm just kind of put that on the side there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get uh, my little can of air and just kind of blow some air in there, get any kind of debris out. Okay, if you look, there's actually a little 10 millimeter bolt on there. We're gonna go ahead and loosen that and uh, pull that out of there. And then this thing might be a little difficult to pull out um, the actual actuator, simply because it's been in there for a while, but uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. And here's the bolt. Make sure you don't drop it like I almost did. And so my hand's probably gonna be blocking it, but I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it back and forth. And it's probably not gonna do anything. Probably gonna need to get some pliers in there to get this sucker out. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna to try to grab on the actual, I keep saying actual, actual actuator and not the um, plug thing. And these actually might be a little too big, but let's see if I can grab a hold of it. Kind of wiggle it back and forth to get it out of here. Hopefully, there it comes. All right, and here it is. You can kind of see it, and there's going to be some oil that's uh, that's dripping out of it. So you might have your paper towel handy, which I do. And there it is. I'm going to set this aside. So now that that's out of there, I'm just going to take kind of a little bit of a damp uh, paper piece of paper towel. 
and just kind of clean the inside of there just to make sure I get rid of any debris that happened to be in there look at all that that's a mess and you don't obviously want to push anything in there especially your paper towel but it'll be nice and clean when you put the new one in so when you look at your new ones you're going to see that they're actually color uh, color not color coded but the uh, color coordinated I guess maybe I don't know um, anyway one of them is going to have a, a gray top one's going to have a black top um, the black is going to be for your uh, exhaust and the gray is going to be for your intake as you can see this is the one that I just pulled out it has the uh, the black top on it and then the other one I already checked it has the uh, has the gray one so what we're gonna do is replace the uh, put the black one in there and then go and replace the other one now before you replace it you, you want to put some oil on uh, this this area here especially the little o-ring that they have going around uh, just to get it nice and lubricated so when you put it in there uh, it's all uh, it stays there nice so I am just going to in fact my fingers already have some oil on it but I'm gonna see if I can dip my finger in here maybe I can maybe I can if not I have to get oil some other way there we go and I literally just changed this like last week so it's still nice and clean uh, and that doesn't work so let me go I'm gonna get some oil out of the can or out of the bottle or whatever and I uh, put some oil on this and then we'll get it installed all right it's all oiled up and it's time to go ahead and slide it in here like so it should go in there pretty nice and easily one little click like that and this actually came with bolts already so I just need to tighten it down there we go it's in and we'll just go ahead and reconnect the connector Reconnect the connector. Well, who would think that this would be? Oh, because it goes this way. There we go. Guess it helps if you put it on the right way. It's in there. <coughs> and let's go ahead and put the clip back on. And there we go that one's done now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other one uh, it's pretty self-explanatory just take this off and pull it out and all that fun stuff so So there you have it pretty easy fix anybody can do it uh, takes probably 10-15 minutes really um, and uh, hopefully it gets rid of those problems that I have with the error codes uh, a couple other error codes that might cause uh, or might come up because of it I think a p0013 maybe p0011 uh, but basically any kind of error code that comes up and says something's going on with the, the camshaft timing or whatever um, it's uh, not an expensive fix it's pretty cheap actually uh, compared to everything else so that might be something you want to look at so hope you like this video that is going to wrap it up and uh, if you did like it please smash that subscribe button hit that like button be sure to check out www.mikeshouseofmods.com for some pretty cool uh, merchandise hats uh, hats mugs and uh, shirts and things so um, that is going to end it for me goodbye